Hey everybody, it is currently 4.30 p.m. on Thursday now. Um, I'm just starting to get going on mapping today. I had this morning off, finally. It was my first day off all week since Saturday. Um, and I slept in nice and late. I got about 10 hours of sleep last night, so I should be all caught up. That doesn't mean I need to sleep like tonight at all, right? That's how that works, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm feeling much more refreshed. I've had a big old pot of coffee. I've been slowly drinking today. Um, I've eaten some food and just basically tried to relax. And I did, I did some outdoor work that I've had to do because I live in a place where it's snowy right now. Um, I just had to get to get my backyard set up for that. But yeah, you you guys don't care about that. We're talking about mapping. Um, so in the last video, last night, I talked about the door fix thing that I did. How I, I put everything up way high instead of... Uh, you know, the, the funk breakables, I moved them up and I dropped them down instead of doing that, instead of trying to move them through the ground because that would break. <sighs> so I still can't really talk. Um, but I just learned last night after I did that, I talked to somebody else and it was point template is what I need to work with today. And from my understanding of that is I can tie the funk breakable, like I'll tie this one, put it in here, template one. And now what happens is when the map loads, the template removes this from the map completely. And what I can do is call on the template and we'll just call it template one for now. I, that's probably not going to be the, the final name, but uh, I can call on the template and tell it to insert everything that's on this list. I can do up to, to 16 different entities on this list and have it do that all at once. So really, I probably could have done all of these with templates and called on them uh, that way instead of having to enable everything. And there, you know, there's a lot of different steps. Like this relay would have been a lot more simple. I wouldn't have had to worry about all these enables and setting things. I wouldn't have to worry about the damage filters. I wouldn't have to done any of that. And that probably would have saved me a little bit of work. But that's why I do these kind of things and that's why I I try to learn different stuff uh, while I do them and every project is a learning experience so I learned about a new thing and now I know for future maps and future stupid ideas that I can do something like that if I'm ever running into the problem of not being able to enable and disable something so that's very exciting <laughs> it's a little frustrating because that was a lot of time I spent trying to work around it but now I know that's the important part is now I know to use it later. So anyway, um, I'm going to probably implement that, make sure it's all working. I'm going to get the timing set up. I'm probably going to reduce the timings of the teleporters. They're probably going to come in a little bit faster just because it doesn't really hurt to have them all on the map a little bit sooner. Um, I'd rather have them all on the map by the end of um, the round than have a few left over and have to worry about that. So I might even try to reduce it to three minutes exactly. So that way, no matter what, all of them will be on the map by the time the finale is over with, um, even, if it's a, even if it's a complete roll. Um, and that way, I don't have to worry about things teleporting in after the finale goes off, because that's an that's a issue that I might have. Um, so I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to get the mothership set up so that falls everything proper, that the 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 timing of that anyway uh it should be falling right now <laughs> it better be I, it was last time i checked um and then i'm going to work with some sound and try to get the finale all set up audio wise uh, i'm going to open up audacity and just try to snag some sounds from various places and make my own big finale sound effect in into one file and then i don't have to worry about a freaking half dozen ambient generics like this kind of thing that i have currently set up for the finale that doesn't even work properly um, and I think that's about it. I'm sure I have more stuff to do. I'm, I've been going around slowly and adjusting little details here and there and adding more, uh, adding more details all over the map and trying to clean things up. I still need to do a bit of an optimization pass, but I don't think it needs much. I think this is very close to being near complete. Um, I would like to finish most of it today and maybe have a working version compiled and ready for tomorrow. Uh, which is when I do my weekly uh, games with my home server. And we can test it out, and then I'll have the weekend to adjust it and fix anything that I find not working during that test. And after that, 
I should be all set and Monday will be or Monday's the contest deadline and it'll be all set and ready to send through. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm I'm rested, but maybe I'm still not hundred uh, percent. my brain is still pretty mush from just thinking about all this stuff. I didn't have a mapping dream last night though, so that was good, but I did have a zombie dream. Uh, <laughs> and that was interesting. Um but yeah, anyway, I'm getting to that rambly part again that I do when I'm staring at Hammer and talking into microphones. So I'll just make this a real short video. Oh, five and a half minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll, I'll leave the video there. Um, this is just a sort of preliminary what I have planned. And tonight I might release another video depending on how much progress I make. Hopefully I'll be, be able to say in the next video, hey, look, it's all done. Um, but, you know, you never know. <laughs> so I will see you guys then.